guys, it's Dan Book Nook Noggin here with another book review, and this time I'm here to review Devolution by Max Brooks. Max Brooks, who is the son of Mel Brooks, the famous comedian actor. Um, if you're not familiar with Max Brooks, um, I first the first book I ever read by him was the Zombie Survivalist Guide, something like that, and then World War Z, which I think everyone is familiar with. But um his writing style is somewhat different and that he writes kind of like a script, kind of a documentary kind of style of writing. It's not like a straight out of the box like novel. Um, this one is my first experience having ever read a cryptid novel. This is a multi-genre novel, um, Devolution. It's uh, fantasy, horror, sci-fi... Um, it just crosses so many different boundaries, and I will admit, it's a, it's a really quick read. Uh, 286 pages, I think, is what it was, so it's a really quick read. It's not something that's going to take you forever to read. Um, I got a copy of this free from the publisher for a fair and honest review, and I've been sitting on it since February of 2020, so it was about damn time that I got to reading and reviewing this thing. But yeah, um, if you're not in the know, you want to know what this is about, it's about Bigfoot. Plain and simple. It's right out there. Um, one of the things I have to say, when I first started this, I thought it was very slow. Very slow burn in the uh, first half of this. Because what Max Brooks does is he kind of world builds... And he kind of info dumps all this stuff onto you about this community, about the characters, uh, the main character of Katie and her husband Dan, and then we meet their neighbor Mo Star, and we meet the guy Tony and Yvette, who are the founders of this community called Green Loop, and it's kind of this like ecological kind of techno, like. It's like a futuristic kind of smart village out in the woods that's kind of environmentally friendly. Um, I found that to be really painful to get through, but it's well worth it if you push on through the world building. And it will kind of make more sense because you get to feel who these people are, what they're about, and why things happen the way they do. Um, I'd just like to also mention and add that the title is explained very much later in the story. We get an idea why it's called Devolution, and it makes sense. It's kind of like an aha moment. But they, um, you're slowly kind of introduced to the Sasquatch. There's this, um, they're off the... They're at the base of Mount Rainier, and Mount Rainier has exploded, and there are these mudslides. I forgot what they're called, but there's a technical term that they're called. They're cut off from civilization, and they happen to be trapped and isolated in this little area, and it's more than just them. It's like major cities and stuff like that. The major highways are cut off, so like they're kind of really, really isolated. And that's when they run into these Bigfoot. And you kind of see like little subtle signs of them at first. Like the author tends to tease it out. You get little glimpses like maybe you saw something out of the corner of your eye. Or maybe it feels like something is watching you and following you. And maybe you thought you saw a pair of eyes in the dark. But it gets creepy and just more spooky and scary the further you get into this. Until you get to the the end and the end is what I was thinking at first my transition to reading this book started out three stars it quickly ramped up to four stars but by the end I was like sold on a five star rating guys this was this book was intense and I think that the way Max Brooks his writing style it's kind of like a script kind of really adds and heightens that and I don't know, when I say that, I don't know how well this would, um, would be, would turn into a movie. We all know World War Z was not that great, so I don't know how well this would be turned into a movie or not. I mean, I would like to see it turned into a film. It was intense, and there's so much I want to say, but I feel like I can't say because I don't want to spoil it. 
But he does go into the kind of background of crypto cryptozoology and kind of trying to explain what Bigfoot is and how they migrated and stuff like that. Really interesting stuff. Um, it wasn't a lot of blah, blah, blah character background stuff. Although, I do have to say, the character development was really well done, too. Um, I thought that they, the way the characters interacted and helped enable the story and push it along was really, really good. A lot of diversity in the characters, too, if that's something you're looking for. There was a lot of diversity. Um, one thing I did find fault with this was I thought some of the names were kind of wonky. Like, there's a character named Mo Star, and then another character named Palomino, which I thought was kind of weird. What is she, a fucking horse? I mean, come on, no. It's just really weird names. But aside from that, really excellent. This is my first five-star book of 2021, guys. This was, this was intense. It was something... I haven't read something this good in quite a while. It's been a while since I've read something this good. Really, really good, though. Um, I'm, I don't know why I put off reading it for so long. I think I saw a review from another booktuber, and they thought it wasn't that great, but they were so wrong. If you are into cryptids, Bigfoot, and all that stuff, or even, like, survival kind of horror, I think this will be right up your alley. Uh, for those of you in the U.S., I will have a link to Amazon down below. Uh, for those of you outside the U.S., I will have a bookshop.org link, and I'm also going to throw it on my coffee link. If you got something from this video, if you enjoyed what I had to say about this video, if you've read it and you, too, enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends for those who have not read this book yet. If you came here looking for more book reviews and book recommendations, please hit that subscriber button, and while you're there, hit that notification bell so you're well aware of when I upload again. This has been Dan. This was an awesome fucking book, guys. Go check it out. Stay healthy and be good to each other.